Big, big error. Yeah. I, the, the easy snooker was there, right? And because he was so close to it, he could oh, nearly go and break there from Jack. But because he was so close to it, really easy to lay a nightmare snooker that Jack's massive odds against to get out of. And then all of a sudden, you've got a cue ball in hand, you can find an angle to develop your bad ball, you're away. Yeah, and he didn't necessarily need to develop his bad ball either. He could have backed himself to play position on it, and if he got on it, you wouldn't expect him to miss it down the cushion. So for me, a, more of a mental error than an execution error. Although, having said that, the way he did try and play the snooker, I still expected him to get it. It was just a riskier way of, of doing so. But he's fighting hard here, following that dry break from Jack Whelan. A very, very quick reverse clearance, potentially. It needed to be, and it will be. He has rattled through these. Mentioned at the start of the match, Grizzly Caulfield can be something of a wrecking ball, and that was impressive. It really was. I, I didn't quite catch the number of minutes or number of seconds left on the clock as he started that visit, but that was, as, you know, one of the quickest reverse clearances we've ever seen. Yeah, he did not hang about there. Goodness me. Seriously impressive for Christy Caulfield. Ne needs another, and he's got the time to do it. Oh, 120, 120 odd left on the left on the watch. There's still. I, I'm remiss to use the phrase plenty of time, but there's, there's still time. Yeah, what he needs is a ball and a chance. You've got time for a, for a break clearance. You haven't got time for a tactical exchange and then a break clearance. So it's a lot hinges on this break for Christy Caulfield. And he's got the first part, which is a ball. Oh, and he's got a great chance as well. So you are. What a turnaround this could be. Oh, does he have an easy opening red? No, he's got the one he's nearest to. Which I can tell you he did make just as we were having a look at that replay. The problem was the control of the cue ball off. It was tricky. He just needs one good shot to get back into position. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that will do him. Can he get through the yellows? up to the top half of the table. Oh, yeah, lovely. lovely. Well, well, well. He could have done with two more rolls on that cue ball just to make life easier. Yeah, cue ball's going to be travelling here. Just to pick his spot for the eight ball and land it. That's nice. Really well played. He's going to leave 30 seconds or so on the clock here for Jack Whelan. It is the Wonders break next. But Christy Caulfield ties things up. Two rapid finishes. The wrecking ball comes to play, and that's what he can do. Well, that's incredible. It's that the really danger we incredible. talked about at the start of the show. Every single player is capable of magic on this stage, and and Christy is a is is about as dangerous a qualifier as you as you can meet because he's capable of doing something like that. And on this format, on these nights. He's made for it. I didn't quite catch the number of seconds left on the clock when he came to the, the table 3-1 down, but it was just under three minutes, I believe. And here we are with 22 seconds left, and he's tied it up with reverse clearance, break clearance. That's pretty magical from Christy Caulfield. It might have even been less than that three minutes. Where's that eight ball? Where is that eight ball? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That is incredible. And you can see how close he was. You can see how much Jack Whelan knew it as well. Much Willing it into that pocket. Both players take their medicine and it will finish a three all draw. What an opening first match that is to kick us off in the Champions League. This is how close Jack Whelan came to a golden break to win it with seconds to spare and that one will just hang over the pocket wow what a finish in our opening match we